Madhvi from tarotcallyspeaking.com, my site where I blog about all the things that I've learned from and about the tarot cards, where I review tarot decks and books, and I also make tarot videos via this YouTube channel. And as a profession, I also do tarot card readings and teach and mentor students who are interested in learning tarot and taking up tarot card reading as a profession. So if you're interested in any of that, uh, there are links in the description that accompanies this video. Uh, I also <laughs> wrote a book where I talk about, uh, you know, how to use storytelling techniques to make your readings become more lively, more real, more awesome, more, you know, engaging and so on and so forth. So if you are an intermediate or an advanced tarot reader, or even a beginner tarot reader, really, honestly speaking, you can start right away, right? You can buy that book and see if it helps you. And if it does, I would love to hear from you too. So anything at all, just email me or put something in the comments, write your reviews on Amazon, all of that. Anyhow, uh, so what I've been doing uh, this year, this year of 2018, is every year I pick out a theme uh, for the following month. I already sometimes have a theme in mind or sometimes, uh, you know, I, I ask, ask my cards to, you know, give me a theme. So... This is, this video is actually going to be for December 2018, so it's kind of the wrapping up video of the whole entire year. So that's why I'm kind of spending some time talking to you guys before. Uh, while this may be the 28 last video for 2018, I am by no means uh, saying that this will be the last of it. I, again, I have to sit down, figure it out. Uh, I, I would love to hear from you guys if you want me to continue doing this kind of theme and intention. As, you know, uh, uh, you know, work and stuff for the next year. Also, I would love to hear from you. Uh, tell me if if you want me to continue, then I will, you know, plan it in because I'm going to be sitting down with my workbooks, with my planners, and I'm going to chart out for the most part, you know, roughly how my next year uh, is is kind of going to go. You know, the videos that I plan to make, so on and so forth. So, if you want to see these videos. Uh, for the uh, for you know the whole cycle of next year 2019, let me know. Uh, you know that that was just what I wanted to say right at the outset of this video, uh, so that you know you guys don't miss out on this uh, little message of mine. All right, so let's get to December. And for December, I have already kind of chosen a theme. I have a theme in mind for the month, and it is accomplishment or accomplish, whatever you want to say. And so for that, I am choosing the world card, right, from the uh, tarot deck. So this time the tarot deck goes right back in the box. Uh, I'm just going to be choosing this one deck to represent the energy that I want to cultivate in this month of December. That's the theme, uh, completion, accomplishment, because, yeah, I've had my ups and downs. I've had my... Uh, how do you say it? hits and misses? I will not deny that. Uh, but even with all of that, I my aim is finally, you know, I'm I'm reaching the completion of this annual cycle, so to speak. And so for the intention, I'm going to reach out and ask my Lenormand cards to sort of uh, tell me what to do. Uh, for the sake of, you know. Brevity, I've already kind of, you know, shuffled the deck. I've mixed it up. I've mixed up all the cards. I'm going to shuffle them again. So there's no goof up, no mix up. Uh, but, you know, essentially, I'm my aim in December is to wrap everything up. Uh, all the loose ends that I've set in motion, all the things that I've set in motion, all the loose ends that might be remaining of things that I started in this year. So all of this I'm going to wrap up and 2019 will be a fresh new start so before that the cycle needs to be completed and that's what this world card is kind of signifying for me also uh saturn is a very important planet in my chart uh my sun sign is capricorn which is ruled by saturn and uh, also my uh, in my birth chart in my moon sign chart my uh saturn is in my first house <laughs> which is pretty intense so 
Saturn has a, a very important role to play. I love this planet because it's got uh, a lot of uh, lessons, a lot of teachings, and those are really, you know, they, they, they get you closer to who you are, really. And it's, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing teacher, uh, Saturn is. So anyhow, <clears throat> and January will be my, you know, as they say, the, uh, you know, the return kind of thing. Uh, my Saturn return, uh, as they say, is not this year. So not even in, in 2019. So that's, that's, that's that. But Saturn return happens every 28 or 29 years. In Vedic astrology, I believe they call it the Sade Sati. So for me, I've been through two of them. <laughs> uh, it's an interesting experience. One was, I was born in one and I went through one. And then there's one more, probably in my 60s, I believe. So <clears throat> that would be interesting, right? You guys will be around, right? Stick around. I'll be making videos then too. <laughs> you guys will see what happens. Okay. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's ask the cards. How do I best go about wrapping everything up and giving myself, you know, re sort of building my sense of accomplishment or, you know, accomplishing all that I have set out to do, all of that. All right, I'm just going to push this card aside for a little bit so I can. Mm. Go five cards. Sorry, just arranging everything so it's fits in the frame of the video. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's open up these cards and see what the cards have to say, what instructions they have for me. We have fish, money, bear, savings, snake, ooh, betrayal. Complications, long-winded, book, secrets, wisdom, knowledge, and mountain can be either hurdles, but at the end of the line, I've often seen that mountain tells me to stay firm, even though there are hurdles. So there may be hurdles in, uh, you know, or, or okay, let's, let's go this way first and then and let's go this way. So money, uh, the flow of money, I need to be really, uh, you know, saving money, okay, or look at my savings and look at how I have, uh, you know, because see, bring it back to the context, right? The context says, how do I go about wrapping things up and, and giving myself that sense of accomplishment? And if there are any loose ends, how do I wrap those up? So look at the savings and look at the betrayal, all right, that you have done, that I have done in uh, to my own savings plan and that is true a couple of times i have dipped into my savings to go buy decks and stuff uh not not necessarily a moment that i'm proud of but hey kickstarter can be quite the addiction so i have you know already i have placed uh, a, a sort of a, a thing on myself long ago to only buy say one deck per month but i rarely follow that uh, and then when Kickstarter happens, I'm like, Hey man, this is a Kickstarter. You know, I'm going to get the deck some other time and you know, it's, it's going to wrap up soon. And so it doesn't follow within that. And, and I just basically, I cheat myself a lot. I betray myself a lot. I betray my savings a lot. And, and I have, uh, spent from my savings, which would there, I've, I've been saving that money for a different reason. And I've spent that money to go buy decks, right? So, so look into the betrayal that you have done <laughs> to your savings. Also, if, if I look at this snake card, because it's right in the center, we're talking about uh, something that's complicated. That's, you know, so my complicated path towards uh, creating savings or generating savings, it needs to be documented maybe in, in my account 
or it needs to be uh, written down the knowledge actually from this the wisdom the secrets of this process uh, they they are actually the, these complicated pathways or these betrayals actually the wisdom uh, or or the fact that i am keeping it hidden uh, in in my in my accounts or in my i'm not really fooling you know anybody with my accounts i'm just saying i i i'm i'm not open with this or the wisdom that i have gained actually will help me stay firm in my path going forward or these secrets these secrets of these betrayals are the biggest hurdle in my path going forward right so both ways if i look at the meanings my cards are telling me exactly what to do i need to really pay attention to the way i uh, dip into my savings because this is going to become a hurdle for me going down uh, you know going forward because those savings are there for a reason and me dipping into them simply to go buy decks on Kickstarter and whatnot are not necessarily a path to creating good savings for myself. And also this, this long complicated approach that I have towards savings and, and you know all the wisdom that I have gained from this betrayal is going to help me stay firm on my path and you know get to where I, where I need to go. So... Both ways, this uh, sort of is, is is helping me see things clearly. And so the intention that I'm going to be setting, in, especially in terms of accomplishment, right, looking in within this context too, I have accomplished many things that I set out to accomplish this year. And I have, uh, you know, tied up loose ends or I will obviously tie up a bunch of loose ends that I do you know the only thing that in this year I did which I absolutely did not like was this part and this is true where I dipped into my savings simply to indulge my desires uh, you know mo most of the kickstarter decks will also eventually be available in the market sooner or later so it's not like you know if I don't buy those decks right then and there, I'll never get a chance to buy them. So it's just me going crazy and not having any limits. Uh, or, or maybe I should start a separate sort of savings fund for the purpose of these kind of impulse buys. That is also another thought that just came in my head that, okay, I should put some money aside every month for these kind of impulse buys, right? So, okay, those are some really interesting takeaways. And in terms of wrapping things up, that is the one thing that uh, did become a hurdle for me in the year also. And it can, if, I, if, I, if this trend continues, this is what it will be like going forward. So use this knowledge, use this wisdom, stay firm on your path of savings, right? And that will be uh, something that will help you going forward is what the cards are telling me wow oh this was <clears throat> super insightful <laughs> it really was okay it was you know sometimes your cards are just there to kind of shake things up and say hey you know what wake up life <laughs> life's right here and you're not paying attention don't get carried away your cards really help keep things re real for you my goodness they do okay so what about you guys? Are you guys going to do uh, a spread like this or are you guys going to pull out cards for yourself? Uh, do you have a separate theme or are you going to follow my theme? Uh, you know, this theme of accomplishment and, and wrapping things up. Are you going to be doing that uh, or, or, or you're going to set your own theme? Whatever it is, I hope you get, uh, you know, genuine guidance, of course. And, and if you need any help with the interpretation, please just drop me a line. Uh, let me know and I'll help you as best as I can. Uh, of course, I will be doing another video of, uh, you know, next week where I will be doing the predictions and stuff. So again, uh, just a quick reminder, if you want me to continue with this theme and intention sort of series or, you know, this kind of thing uh, for 2019, just let me know in the comments. If you want to share your spreads, uh, privately email me if you want to share your spreads in the comments go ahead and do that too um, and I will see you again for the monthly prediction video next week until then stay good be good and play with your cards
Bye for now. Thank you.